I'm sure by now you've all heard about the use of calfskin in drum heads uh, in the early 20th century and for classical music and other things like that. There's a new alternative out of Australia that's utilizing ethically sourced kangaroo hide heads, and uh, they're called Kentville drums. In searching for a natural snare head for jazz stuff and for any time that I need the drum to sound kind of old, I've always been looking for different options, whether they are natural or synthetic even. And the Kentville heads are fantastic for a bunch of reasons. They have some traditional structural things and they have some innovations as well that really make them, uh, to me, the best choice. Today I brought in this Maple Craviato snare drum. I have been using calf on metal drums for years and I wanted to see what would happen with this head on a wooden drum. Kenville Drums is based in Australia and they are primarily a repair shop and restoration shop, but they also have been making these heads for a while now and they are phenomenal. They come from a government culling program that keeps the wild population of kangaroos in check so that they maintain a, uh, a good population and uh, don't get out of control. Unlike other companies that I've found that do natural uh, calf and other sorts of heads like this, this company is able to do specific weight variations so you can focus on if you need a light, a medium, or a heavier head depending on the size of the drum you're using or the construction of the drum, what behaves best with that instrument. Let's talk about structurally how these heads work. They are tucked onto a hoop. If you've seen our calf head video, you saw how flat they are and they come out of the box. They don't have a collar bent into them. Normally, natural heads are on a wood collar. They use aluminum, which is much stronger and resists twisting under the tension of the head. Um, that twisting can deform the head. It can also uh, damage the edge of your drum and uh, shrink and grow from the weather, which is just not great. So aluminum flesh hoops on these, and then you seat them just like you would any other natural hide head. And again, you can reference back to our calf video to see how that works. The acoustic behavior and the physical behavior of this sort of head is really uh, unique. And one of the things that I really enjoy about natural heads is that at a specific tension, they behave as though they're tuned much lower. Uh, I'm I'm honestly not really sure why that is. I think it's because it's a fibrous material, leather rather than a, a uniform plastic or a mylar. Right now I have this drum tuned pretty high. But despite that, the pitch in the center sounds like it's tuned significantly lower than the edge harmonics make it sound. This results in a much more comfortable feel when you want to tune the instrument really high for a jazz scenario or an orchestral scenario or if you just want more of a cracking backbeat. You end up with a fatter sound but the dryness of the high tension at the same time. With the snares engaged, we can start to see how this is a much drier sound than a plastic head at this same tension. It's really, really articulate, but also on the darker side of the sound spectrum. It's not super bright. It doesn't really sound so modern. It sounds a little more uh, rustic. This articulation carries all the way to the edge of the drum head. And compared to a synthetic drum head, a natural head will have more suppression of the overtones as you move toward the edge of the head. They're still present, but they are much more pleasing to the ear and they don't overtake the fundamental sound of the drum. A super important topic worth mentioning is that the reason why coated heads exist is to mimic the way that brushes behave on the surface of a natural head. There's a texture to leather that is what gives the brushes the sound that they have when you play lateral and swishy strokes. And so far I haven't really found anything that sounds quite like a natural head just because it is something from nature. It's not 
made by a machine. So there are imperfections and there's sort of a fibrousness to it that gives a really beautiful and warm sound. Compared to a coated head, this coating will never wear out because it's not attached to the top of the head, it is the head. So no matter how much you play on this with sticks or brushes or mallets or whatever, it's gonna sound like this forever. And I have heard heads from drums that were from the 50s that sounded just like this that have been played for thousands and thousands and thousands of hours. And they may be worn out sound-wise with sticks, but that texture never goes away. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you're seeing, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, any questions or concerns or thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new things we've got coming down the pipe.